Welcome back to our dream in the woods. Uh, today, I need to figure out my lumber storage. Um, I have been making, started making some of the timbers for the barn and uh, have a pretty good plan of how to set it all out, but now I need to act on that. So I have or organization and uh, cover for all the lumber that I'm making and the different components of that uh, lumber, whether it be six inch, three inch, two inch, one inch, all kinds of stuff to think about there. So, so this is how we left the mill last time I was finished milling is I got these two uh, posts out of that one tree. And then I have the post from a different tree and some one by six material. And then I have all the slab wood that needs to be cut up and that's in two inch and one inch pieces. So the first thing I need to do is get a place to store the posts to get them off so I can then mill up the slab wood and continue on. Um, you can see that I had made it so I just had a small little walkway to push the mill down through. So time to get going on lumber storage. All right, we're down in the little side road that I'm gonna store all the lumber products for the barn. This pile right here is all of the one by tens for the board and bat for the sawmill cover. So that needs to come out and all the other pieces below that are just random pieces that have milled up over the last year. So that comes out. Um, some beams there that need to come out. There's another pile of one by material that needs to come out. These are three by sixes and I may use some of these for purlins, um, but I'm not sure. Most of that is made out of lodge pole, and I don't know if I'm gonna stick with straight um, dug fir, but that needs to come out. And then I just have a small stack of two by sixes, and I'm gonna pull those out too. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, clean up all of the existing lumber that's milled uh, so this area is completely clean and then determine where what size of bunks I have already built and what I need to to lay out um, and then the, then put down some four by fours then look at all my metal that I have and tries try to size that to the si the piles that I have going and what my need is and then what I might need in the future. Uh, to, I've been gathering metal as I can, but um, it's gonna take quite a bit. So that'll be the other consideration. Then once I have all that done, then I can start stacking some lumber. So just uncovered the stack here and I can see where this sticker was, some mold there, a little bit of mold, green mold there. Um, I don't know what that is. On this board here, I can see some, some mold there. So um, I don't know exactly what I need to do about that, but I figured that I had plenty of stickers on there, stickered properly. Um, did I need more space on top here? Um, these ones at angle here, I think we're just laying out and they were moist. So maybe that did it, but that doesn't explain what happened down in here. So I don't know. Uh, just learning about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Definitely see some mold, black stuff, white stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what's in the center of the stack. 
Um, but I'm going to leave it out here for the the next day or two uncovered and let some air get to it and then uh, maybe put some thicker stickers on top and then put some tin back on it um, before I go back to work. So I think it's fine. I think you can spray that mold and it'll kill it and and actually uh, recolor up and, and be the same. So not that worried about it, but still doesn't make you feel good. Next up is this stack of one by material here. Um, running that up to my in-laws, up to Beth's old basketball court, and then plan on putting those two by sixes up there and also the three by sixes in that pile. Next up is this uh, stack of three by sixes. Um, I was going to use these as purlins for the barn. Um, I'm determined if I need extras, I might use these, but uh, these are a lodgepole and I think I'm going to try to keep everything dug fur uh, for the barn. So I uh, just have more confidence and it should shrink and dry at a similar rate. So. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Uh, it hasn't been uncovered all summer, so I'm kind of curious to see the condition. Yeah, it looks like I Covered it with a couple of things propped up in the center so the water shed off nicely. Most of it looks great. I can see there is some dug fur in there. This is a dug fur one. Got a little frog there living in the pile. Bo would be excited about that. He loves holding frogs. I'm going to try to stack this directly on the one by material that I just uh, put up at the concrete slab. So I think I'm going to cut some stickers that accommodate my forks um, that are thick enough to where I can just stack it on that stack and not have to restack it. It might be worth my time to do so. I'll put this pile and these one by sixes up there. Um, they seem to have fared pretty well through the winter and summer. Pretty well. It's not perfect, perfect, but it'll it'll do. 
Most of these have a pretty good dry going on them anyway. Just need to cover. And I think I'm gonna try to, um, I, I like how the tin had an, a good angle on it. So I'm gonna try to do that. Seemed like it made a difference um, with that stack I opened up that had a couple of blocks. So the, the tin has a good slope to it instead of being flat. Um, less water down in there so anyway success all right method to my madness as far as how many of these lumber bunks i'm making and why it all goes off of the cut list which is right here uh, it goes through the what it is uh, how many i need the dimensions how many board feet because i think it's interesting to see how many board feet i'm milling up the species, how many total board feet, uh, and then I'll have a column completed, um, board feet completed, so at least I'll have some gauge of how things are going, and then my organization uh, stack. And so uh, this line here, this is all six by material, so that the posts I made, post number one is six by 10 by 22, there's 110 board feet in each um, post. I need 14 of them, and all total, it's about 1540 uh, board feet in that, and just in those 14 posts. So these are my signs, and this might show a little bit of my craziness, but um, the six is six inch material, so I need three lumber bunks or four lumber bunks uh, 116 122 112 another 112 and then i kind of calculated volume four feet wide so i can pick it up with the forks and four feet tall how many I, i'm going to need so those are four lumber bunks then i have three by material three by material is basically the roof purlins uh, most of them are 10 feet, I need 136 of them, but I also need on the ends uh, that are 14 feet, and so there's 68 of those. So that's two more lumber bunks. Now the 2 by material, um, 2 by 6 by 10 these are the top plates uh, and girts and all the framing that needs to happen on to the two gable ends. So I need two of those. This is one by material for the roof decking, uh, one by sixes and 14 and 16 foot links. That's for the two roof pitches. And I'm gonna need 520. And XYZ is I need, in the end I'll have three stacks that are about four feet tall, four to five feet tall. So that's that. And then we go on to yeah, that should be P, but those are basically, that stands for Ponderosa. This is the board and bat siding. Um, one by tens, by twelves, one by threes. Those are all the battens. And then one board by tens, uh, 14 to 16 feet long. So um, that's my mad the mad madness. So uh, three, six, eight, 10, 12. I need 12 lumber bunks to store the and organize all, all of the cuts. And then as I, you know, complete a stack, like this is A and B, 84 each, you know, three stacks here. I think this is two stacks. Yeah, 216 single stack there. After I lay these out, um, I'm gonna, uh, hang these signs so then I can remember what goes everything and then direct other people to uh, stack the lumber in the in the in the lumber bunks um, so we'll see if that works hopefully that doesn't tell people that I'm a little weird but <laughs> I think it's a little weird but it's how my mind thinks and uh, I know this is a huge project it's gonna take months and months to complete all through the winter, uh, more likely. I anticipate I'll have at least 40 days of sawing, 40 solid strong days of milling 
uh, and I don't even know if that's enough, but I just kind of tell them in my mind, if I do 40, I'll have done quite a bit. So anyway, so now I need to go lay out these different lengths of what I have uh, as far as the side, the, the width of the lumber bunks and see what I have down, down the line there. I'm back at it again here today uh, laid out as many of the 4x4s as I had I have some other 4x4 material around um, but they're not quite the length that I want I was I need 50 inches um, or more I can't remember exactly but the other ones are too small so I still have to mill up some more uh, 11 down there 6 there yeah so 17 more uh, four by fours to have a complete set of all uh, 12 lumber bunks. Uh, next thing I did was lay out some metal. Counted it up between all the little pieces and long pieces, wide, short, narrow. I got 61 pieces. The determination of how to best lay it out on each bunk. Do I just go for it and play Tetris and see how I do and what I have left? Or do I write them all down and see what I have and see if I can do math and uh, match it to each bunk? I'd like to have at least two to three inches overhang on each side of the lumber and maybe six inches at the end on each end. So that's a determining factor too. Um, and then overlap in the center. Yeah, it's it's a jigsaw puzzle, but uh, and I looks like I have a lot here, but time will tell. Some of these bunks will take at least four or will take four pieces, so uh, it starts eating it pretty fast. So I don't know, we'll get to it. Well, so far I've got three bunks set for the tin, so that's a uh, sixteen foot bunk everything's four foot wide um, I got this 22 foot uh, the longest one that's the pile in the back there and then had a odd amount or odd pattern in that one over there that's sitting on the four by four so plugging along uh, just trying to match things up and be the most efficient as I can still looks like I have lots of metal laying around but um whether it'll all equate to the right sizes and and such so um yeah quite a jigsaw puzzle up next uh, not really sure what we're doing, but Eric and I have kind of coordinated a five day stent off. Uh, might be putting in an H post H bracket for power. Um, that remains to be seen. Kind of going back and forth on a 400 amp uh, versus a 200 amp and bringing that in. Uh, we went shopping for uh, all in one. 400 amp um, meter 
boxes and they're out of stock. Um, not anticipating it getting it anytime soon. More to come on that. Um, but lots, lots of milling to do and need to get that board and bat up on the shed. Uh, excited to do that also. So uh, appreciate you watching. You guys have a good evening, day, morning, whatever it is where you're watching.